need a reminder of what we are here for. And we're not protesting, we're walking and protecting the earth. And if the earth can't speak and the, and the, the government can't protect it, then we need to come and protect it. Promises have been broken over and over and for many, many years to my nation, to your nation. And as people, we need to come and we need to remember what we're, what we're protecting. We have a tradition, a century or more old, that people can stand up together and make a change. And all of you got together and told this city council what you wanted, and you got them to vote for it. To have it be reversed by Doug Ford, who is screwing over so many other workers across this province in different ways, is absolutely disgusting. I ask you to not only keep your thoughts with, let's face it, this issue is not the only issue for people. This is your primary lens right now, and it's a great one. But just like labor is being intersectional here, be aware of the intersectional relationship that that green belt and farming and all of those things have with people across this city as well. All of our issues matter and we have to stand side by side with each other. Today, more than ever, families are struggling to put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. Bill 23 is not allowing people to do that. We, we are all here to say no thank you to Bill 23. That will allow rich developers and big corporations to make big profits and leave our most vulnerable citizens like our youth, our seniors, and people with disabilities without a roof over their heads. It's about people, it's about people power, and this is a war against our people. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. When I say Doug Ford <laughs> picked the wrong group to screw with, I mean it. Yeah. And we know that of the 7,400 acres he's trying to get his hands on, 1,965 of them are here in Hamilton. That means more than a quarter of the land he's trying to grab is here, and this feels personal. Time to swing the hammer. A lot of us are asking ourselves, if so, where do we go from here? What do we do? And I've been talking to friends, my colleagues, lawyers, and lots of people say things like, well, Hamilton can't do much. We're a creature of the province or a city well i have a small message for doug ford if he wants to come here and try and take a bite out of our green belt if he wants to come here and try and take a bite out of our farmland this creature of the province is going to bite back the personal note i farm a lot of land if we continue on our current trajectory of wild speculation on agricultural lands myself and other young farmers like me will never be able to own a farm, never be able to start a career, never be able to feed our community. Every year, our local membership shrinks by one or two farmers who retire or pass away. We struggle to add new members. If the price of farmland continues to skyrocket because it's being opened up for development, we won't have enough farmland to feed ourselves and won't be anyone there to work the land. <laughs> This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. You chose to be anywhere today. You chose to be here because it matters to you. It doesn't matter who you pray to, where you're from, how much money you make, what neighborhood you're in. You came together here today to express your voices. My commitment here today is to take this message to Ottawa to make sure that any opportunity that we have to protect our environment will happen. There are so many things you could do. The one call to action I have today, there is a petition. We are building lists. We'll go door to door, street to street, neighborhood to neighborhood to stop this corrupt, conservative government. And it is true. This is a political discussion, which is why for these next three years, we need to continue to rally just like this, to have conversations with people. If there are hundreds today, there needs to be thousands tomorrow. And if they won't respect the will of local councils, if they won't respect you know, their own platforms, their own promises, 
then we will meet them in the streets and we will shut it down. Thank you to all the incredible organizers. Stop our sprawl. Grassroots movement. This is a grassroots movement. Gas. Everybody who's out there putting in that work, know that I stand with each and every one of these councillors, everybody here and in Halton, anywhere across this province. We will continue to fight back. Yeah. Yeah.